Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about reactions of the electron transport chain. In simple, it is about what happens in each complex of the electron transport chain during the transfer of electrons. There are four complexes in the inner mitochondrial membrane and these complexes contain many polypeptide or protein subunits and several iron centers. So these components they can be readily reduced or oxidized. The transfer of electrons takes place as these components they flip between reduced and oxidized state. Starting with the reactions of the complex 1, before going to details of what happens in the complex 1, let us see some important features of the complex 1. The complex 1 has other names like it is also called as NADH coenzyme Q reductase or NADH dehydrogenase complex. And when you see the components of this complex 1, it contains protein subunits, FMN as the prosthetic group and it also contains iron sulfur centers. The function of this complex is, it is involved in the transfer of electrons and also this complex, that is complex 1, acts as proton pump. And the inhibitors of this complex are amytol, rotenone, peacidine. Reduced NADH transfers its electrons to FMN. After receiving the electrons, FMN is reduced to FMNH2 and this FMNH2 in the next reaction, it transfers electrons to oxidized iron sulfur center. After receiving the electrons, it is reduced. And this reduced iron sulfur centers, again it transfers its electrons to coenzyme Q that is again converted into its reduced form that is QH2 or ubiquinol. So here the sequence of electron transfer is the electrons from the substrate are received by the NADH and they are transferred to FMNH2 from there to the iron sulfur center and this iron sulfur center transfers electrons to the ubiquinone. NADH is the donor of electrons. It is formed during oxidation reactions involving dehydrogenases. So dehydrogenase removes a pair of hydrogen atoms from the substrate. Each hydrogen atom contains one electron. So when two hydrogen atoms are removed, it is equal to removal of two electrons. Dehydrogenases of PCA cycle like isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, malate dehydrogenase and the link reaction catalyzed by the pyruvate dehydrogenase and the enzymes dehydrogenases of beta oxidation and ketolysis and also the enzymes of amino acid metabolism like glutamate dehydrogenase. So all these enzymes they generate the NADH. So this NADH is the donor of electrons in the complex. The overall function of this complex is it transfers two electrons and two protons to ubiquinone and also transfers four protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space using the energy released during the electron transfer. Coming to complex 2 reactions, the other name for the complex 2 is it is also called as succinate coenzyme Q reductase or succinate dehydrogenase. The components are it contains polypeptide chains, iron sulfur centers and FAD. And the function of this complex is it transfers only electrons and it will not act as the proton pump. And the reason why complex 2 is not a proton pump? The answer is during the electron transfer from the FADH2 to coenzyme Q, small amount of energy is released. So this energy is not sufficient to pump the protons from the matrix to intermembrane space. So that's why complex 2 is not a proton pump. So the electrons from the FADH2 are transferred to ubiquinone and after receiving the electrons, ubiquinone is reduced to ubiquinol. Three major enzymes that transfer electrons directly to the ubiquinone from the FADH2 are one is mitochondrial glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase which is involved in the breakdown of triacylglycerol. The second enzyme is acyl-CoA dehydrogenase, the enzyme of beta oxidation. And the third one is succinate dehydrogenase. Coming to complex 3, the other names are coenzyme Q, cytochrome C, oxidoreductase or cytochrome C reductase or it is also called as cytochrome BC1. And the components are it contains polypeptide chains, iron sulfur, proteins, cytochrome B and cytochrome C1. Coming to the functions, it transfers electrons and this complex also acts as the proton pump. 
Ubiquinol or reduced coenzyme Q transfers its electrons to the complex 3. Coenzyme Q is the electron acceptor in the reaction catalyzed by the complex 1 and complex 2. The electrons are transferred from ubiquinol to the cytochrome C through iron sulfur center, cytochrome B and cytochrome C1. Cytochrome contains heme as prostatic group which contains iron atom. The iron of heme changes to Fe2 plus as it accepts an electron and reverts to Fe3 plus as it loses the electrons to the next carrier. So, iron changes between reduced ferrous and oxidized ferric state during the electron transport, similar to iron sulfur clusters. Complex 4, so this is the terminal component of the electron transport chain. The other names are, it is called a cytochrome C oxidase or cytochrome oxidase. The components are, it contains polypeptide chains, two heme groups, two copper ions, two cytochromes, that is cytochrome A and A3. In the coming to the functions, this complex, that is complex 4, acts as proton pump and also it transfers electrons to the molecular oxygen. The reduced cytochrome C transfers its electrons to the cytochrome AA3. After receiving the electrons, the oxidized cytochrome AA3 is converted into reduced cytochrome AA3. And this reduced cytochrome AA3 transfers its electrons to the molecular oxygen so that it is converted into water. So here the flow of electrons is in the sequence of cytochrome C2, cytochrome AA3 and finally to the oxygen. Cytochrome A is paired with a copper atom that is copper A and cytochrome A3 is paired with a different copper atom called as copper B. During electron transfer, the iron atoms of the heme cycle between the ferric and ferrous states while the copper atoms cycle between cuprous and cupric states. Cytochrome C oxidase transfers four electrons to the molecular oxygen to form two molecules of water. Oxygen is tightly bound between heme A3 and copper during its reduction. It is released only after its complete reduction to the water. 